Hello guys, what's going on? I am back with another vlog once again for you guys. Today is Thursday, July 21st, 2022. The time right now is like 3.15 p.m. A lot of cars driving by. As always, and there's bikers down there. It's a little bit windy and stormy today. You can see the clouds over there. It's a little cloudy. It just had a really tiny thunderstorm. It wasn't really anything except for a really loud rumble of thunder. And we're also currently under a severe thunderstorm watch. Actually, not sure if we're going to get another storm or what but I mean we're under a severe thunderstorm watch until 8 o'clock p.m. tonight I'm thinking maybe we, we might get another one or something I, I mean I don't know but like that. Uh, but hopefully you're having a good day today. Yeah, my neighbor mowed the lawn earlier. He used his riding lawn more this time. I haven't seen him using it in like two years, but he finally used it again. It kind of looks like we're going to have a storm, but I'm not sure. Because, you know, there's a blue sky right there. You can see that. We just had a really, really quick storm. It, like, wasn't really that much of a storm. I mean, it got dark for a couple minutes. And then there was a loud rumble of thunder. But. Then after that, it was over. Oh, there's a couple rumbles of thunder right down there, off in the distance, because I can hear it. It's also very cloudy down there, too. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you're having a good day like I am. It's pretty hot today. It's like 92 degrees. Next Sunday, there's a, a good probability I get to see my friend Colin again at the, the pool. Cause Sunday, it's supposed to be like 97 degrees. It's going to be really hot on Sunday. So that'll be a great day to go out and see my friend at the pool or whatever. I'll go swimming again. I mean, this past Sunday, I went to the beach. I did a vlog the same day. Um... The Sunday before that, I went to the pool. Now, this Sunday, I might be going to that same pool once again. So, I'm looking forward to that. Now, it's always fun to get out of the house. 
you know, I like being at home, but, you know, after a while it kind of gets boring and feels good to get out. And the good news is there's no people around, so that that's the that's this is the perfect opportunity for me to walk around like this. Yeah, there's a couple rumbles of thunder, but see how it's cloudy over here and down there. But over there, you know, it's got a blue sky and everything. You guys know why I don't like it when there's people around, because, like, what if they question me about, you know, what I'm doing? Even though it's none of their business, but that's what people will do, you know, they'll question you. Oh, what are you doing? Are you filming something? Or are you taking a picture? What are you doing? Like, people will ask you, like, questions like that, and, you know, it's none of their business, but people still like to question you. It's like, you know, you don't do things like that. Like, mind your business. Like, don't be concerned about what someone else is doing. Like, what someone else is doing, it doesn't matter to you. It's them, not you, so. Like, really, I just wish people would not be nosy. It's like, someone taking a video of something is not your business. You know? Just leave people alone and... You know, let them do their thing. You know, some people like to do vlogs or whatever. You know, maybe the person has a YouTube channel and they're just, you know, making a vlog. And so you shouldn't question people about that. I remember earlier, me and my mom took a little ride. It was very hot. Like, the car, like, we were sweating and everything, but it cooled down a tiny bit. I mean, not a whole lot, but a little bit. I... Yeah, I have my air conditioner on in my bedroom. My mom has her AC on. It's still pretty hot out here right now. Last time I checked, it was 92 degrees. Yesterday it was also 92 degrees and the same thing with the day before. These past few days it's been pretty hot and I know a couple other places in the world are also very hot also. You're getting lots of heat waves, like especially the UK. I know the UK is definitely getting some heat waves going on there. Places like Arizona, Felicity, California are very, very hot right now. You know, again, the hot wa the hot weather doesn't really bother me since I have an air conditioner. But if you're if you're that type of person who doesn't have an air conditioner, then yeah, you're definitely not gonna like the hot weather. You know.
windy and hot today and a little stormy, but I don't know if we're going to get another storm. Like, you would think you would know, because they say it in the weather, but sometimes, you know, they tell us we're going to have a storm and then we don't even have one. So, the truth is you have to wait and see, because the weather doesn't always tell you. Because, again, sometimes we'll have it, sometimes they're, they're, they'll tell us we're going to have one and then we don't end up having one. You know, that's why I don't like to fully believe what the weather says, because, you know, sometimes they think we're going to have one, but then we don't. And they said we were going to have one around 3 p.m., but it's like almost 3.30 p.m. right now. I mean, we had a small one, like maybe 30 minutes ago, I would say we had that small one around. It was just one loud rumble of thunder, and that was, and it was dark too, but I think it rained, it rained a tiny bit because it was sprinkling a little bit, but it wasn't nothing too crazy. It's definitely hot, so you want to make sure you're staying cool in this hot weather. You know, if you don't have an air conditioner, you better get one, because you need one. So I know I already told you guys about that incident that happened to me back on Sunday where I was on this guy's lawn and this, you know, he, he saw me and he, he asked me like, I live here, what are you doing? Again, that happened just before Colin's mom picked me up to go to the beach because I was waiting her because she goes to the CVS to come get me so I have to walk down there and as I was waiting, you know, that literally happened, so. That's why I don't like to wait there's always people around you know I don't, I don't feel comfortable is that chocolate I thought there was chocolate on my chin because I had um, a chocolate pie earlier but uh. anyways yeah that's why I don't really like people you know, I don't like random strangers because, you know, they might question you or whatever. They might just be rude. It's like even if we're not doing anything wrong, and that's just the way people are sometimes. It's like you don't have to do nothing wrong. That's just the way people are. That's why, again, from now on, so I'm going somewhere with my friend Colin, and she wants me to meet up at the CVS. I'm probably just going to wait until she gets there, instead of waiting down there already. Just to avoid this, you know, type of incident from happening to me again, because, you know, I don't like it when people do that. I don't like it at all. Although I did have a good time at the beach. I mean, it took a long time to get there because the beach is in Rhode Island. It took like an hour and 30 minutes to get there by car. But, I mean, it was still a fun day. Again, I already told you about this upcoming Sunday. I might get to see my friend again at the Perry Lane Pool. Last time I was there was July 10th. I might be going there again this upcoming Sunday, so that'll be fun. Hopefully, I'll be, I'll be able to go. I mean, hopefully, plans are not going to change because I hate it when that happens. But, again, I know I didn't go live on Monday because I, I didn't feel like going live on Monday that's why I tell you no promises and again I, I didn't do a vlog Tuesday either I just didn't feel like it not only that my iPad was having little storage issues so 
instead of, instead of erasing it this time, I just gave it an update, and that fixed it up. So now I can just do a vlog today. Oh, now it's 3:30 because we're 15 minutes in the vlog. Because 15 minutes ago, when we started the vlog, it was 3:15. Now it's obviously 3:30, and it's 15 minutes later. We're 15 and a half minutes in now. People and their loud motorcycles or whatever. I swear. Uh, but the breeze feels good, I'll tell you that. Again, if the weather is nice like this in your area, go out and enjoy it. Because if you don't, you're going to strongly regret it. Especially this breeze feels really good. So, I highly recommend you go out there and enjoy the nice breeze. It, it feels good, trust me. And you know, despite it being hot, I mean the breeze, the, the breeze, the wind breezes always feel good. Sorry, the neighbor just came out. Nice flowers. Corvette. Oh, it looks like the sun's coming out again. But look over there, it's still cloudy down there. Let me show you. You see down there, it's still cloudy? Ah, Tesla, electric car. And I can't believe that July is almost over already. Like it feels like July just started and now it's ending. Oh, well, it's almost over. There's only a few days left. You know, then it's going to be August, which will be my um, last month of the summer. There's freaking neighbors inside the car. Like, is she leaving or something? Yeah, she's leaving. That's what I thought. But yeah, I only have like basically one left, to, one month left of summer. And then I go back to school. I have a lot of nice classes like Automotive 2, Wood Tech 2, Materials Processing, Photography. A lot of cool classes on my schedule. And when, I'm, when my schedule pops up, if it's not the way I like it, I'm going to immediately request that that gets changed. Because I want to get what I requested to get. Especially since it's my senior year, you know? You know, it's not going to be like last year where they couldn't put me in this whatever class. I'm not going to have that next year. Absolutely not. Like, I expect to get what I want. It's like, you know, seriously.
Is the neighbor leaving yet? What's taking her so long to leave? Hmm. Yep, it's getting sunny out again, which means it's getting hot. And it was really hot earlier too, but it looks like it's getting hot again. You know? But again, the breeze is a good combo. I mean, I like the breeze. You know, the breeze feels good. You know, it kind of cools you down a little bit. If you want, you can tell me how your day is going. Again, mine is going pretty good. I mean, I'm not, I haven't really done a whole lot today. I've just been, you know, relaxing and watching YouTube and stuff. Then again, I, I went to the food shelf with my mom. I got some foods. Neighbor's leaving. I'm telling you, go outside. Enjoy your summer. If you literally sit in your room all day playing video games each day of your summer break, you're literally wasting your own summer vacation. It's a very unhealthy habit. So you want to go outside and enjoy the nice weather. When it's nice out, go out there and enjoy it, you know? If you have the opportunity to go swimming, I tell you, do it, you know, because you're, you're going to regret it if you don't. I understand people have an addiction to video games, even though I find them super boring, but the warm, the weather is always more important than a stupid video game. Again, no disrespect to those who like video games, but, I mean, if you like games, that's fine, but when the weather, when the weather's nice out, you should go out there and enjoy it, you know, it's good for you. You know, I'm just helping you out. It's a good idea to go out and enjoy the good weather. You don't just stay in your house all summer. Come on. Like, seriously. I don't I don't like lazy people like that. Like, at least go outside a little bit. You know? Get some fresh air. It's one, it's one reason why a lot of people are unhealthy nowadays. Because all they do is just sit inside their room and play their video games. Like, you know, if you want to do that, at least do it on a rainy day or whatever. But if the weather's nice, I'm telling you, you got to go out there and enjoy it. It's not going to last forever, because before you know it, it's going to start getting cold again. And you're going to wish, I should have went outside, I should have listened to what Dale told me to do. So, you don't want to feel like that. So, take my advice, please. You're going to thank me later on. You know? Just sitting in your room playing video games all the time is inappropriate. You gotta go outside and enjoy the nice weather too. I swear some people are so addicted to video games, like that's the only thing they do 
is play a video game. Like, come on, life's not all about video games. You know, one day all video games might be extinct. So, can't be addicted to a, a boring game forever. And my shirt's so hot, like it's even sticking to me. It's so hot out here in general. We'll, we'll walk around a little more. I'm gonna go get me a drink of water. We'll do basketball for like five minutes only. So bear with me one moment. Let's walk around a little bit more and then we'll do a little bit of basketball again. It's only going to be five minutes. But. There's not much back here. You know, a grill. That's pretty much it. What is that, a microwave? I don't think we need that. I mean, we already got a microwave. Oh, another grill, a propane tank. A bicycle, a bunch of chairs or whatever. Some car tires or whatever the heck those are. dumpster right over there you might be able to see it It's a nice day out, and it's hot, but you know, hot weather is good. You can do a lot in the hot weather, but cold weather you can't really do much of anything. Well, you can do some stuff, but not like a lot. It's like winter is the most boring season. You can hardly do anything. Like at least why summer is better, because in this, like during the summer you can go to the beach and you can have fun at the beach. You can go swimming. I mean, how do you not enjoy that? Like the beach, the beach is like so fun. Like who, who doesn't love the beach? Who doesn't love the beach? You gotta be out of your mind if you don't like the beach. The beach is the best. I guess some people don't like summer because it gets too hot, I understand, but still. 
like get an air conditioner it'll solve your problem like you know go swimming go to the beach like those are times of your life that you wanna you know spend going to the beach or whatever you know go swimming or whatever like you know it'll be worth it I, I guarantee you I'm telling you but staying in your house playing video games all the time that's not worth anything. You're harming your health when you do that. That's why it's not good. I don't know why these neighbors leave the hood open to their car. I mean, it, it's not opened, opened, but like you can kind of tell what I mean. It's kind of it, it's popped open. I don't know. I guess it's because this this car is having problems or whatever. I don't know. I mean, it hasn't been used in a like a week. But, I mean, there's got to be something wrong with it. Yeah. You know, so. Five minutes of basketball only. So, we'll do a little bit. It's pretty hot out here.
Come on, do not hit the cards, do not hit the iPad. Well, it looks like the storm gone away. It's nice and sunny again out here. Come on, do not hit the damn cars. One last shot and then we're going to be done for today. Oh. Yes, nice. Alright. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let's take a little shortcut. All right, we'll walk around just a little bit more and then we're gonna go inside. Um, We're gonna do a little bit of vacuuming, but again, I'm not really gonna be doing a whole lot. I think I'm probably just gonna use my um, red dirt devil for today. Maybe we'll use my blue Bissell. I mean, but yeah, we're not gonna be doing much vacuuming. Like we're probably just gonna be only using like one or two of my vacuum cleaners. And then of course after that, we're going to do our fire alarm test, which I know how much everyone loves the fire alarm test. It's like literally everyone's favorite thing. Well, guess what? It's my favorite thing, too. That car's got a red grill. That's cool. Dude, what is this nut doing filming me driving by his house or whatever? It's sunny out now for sure. Look at that sun. And now I think we're gonna head back inside because I'm getting hot. So now it's time to go inside the house. Let's go to my bedroom. Oh, it looks like my mom is in the kitchen. Okay, now we're back in my room. Got to cool down for a second. It's pretty hot out there. I got my AC on. But yeah. Oh yeah, I also got some ice cold water on this really hot day. Just put
put it in the freezer and it freezes and it's really cold once it melts. always good to stay hydrated on a hot day. So here's the deal. Today we're going to be using my Dirt Devil Breeze slash Federlite and okay, we're going to use the Dirt Devil, Bissell, and the Rigid. So we're going to be using this, that, and that for vacuuming today. How does that sound? I made up my mind, we'll use the shot vac too. Let me just cool off a little bit because I'm, 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 I'm literally sweating right now. I'm sweating. It's hot out there. Like I've been out there for like 39 minutes. Of course I'm gonna be sweating hot. Still got this to drink. The Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I've had these for about like maybe two months or whatever. I already drank a few of them, but I have two two more of these left. Zappercraft sent me a friend request on Facebook, and I just accepted it. Let me just send a little message to the NYC Club group chat. I can show you. Hello, everyone, period. I am going to premiere a vlog in a little bit. I hate voice recognition. I am currently doing the vlog right now as I type this to you, period. It is a super Felicity Red vlog. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. No, look, that's not correct. This is the thing about voice recognition that I can't stand, how it screws up. Here, how's that? Is that a little better? Okay, let's send it. There we go, folks. Yeah, it's interesting how I did this on a vlog, huh? You will see me typing all of this during my vlog. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to get our vacuuming ready. So let me prepare that before we start it. Oh boy, it's 4 o'clock now. I got some Doritos right here. These are pretty good. 
have my two Mountain Dew Baja Blasts. And I have this granola bar here. So I'm, I'm not really the biggest fan of these, but I got my cheese balls. So yeah. I also have another annoying phone call interruptions video that I'm going to be uploading. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to upload it. Maybe it'll be either tomorrow or Saturday. Or maybe Sunday, who knows. Maybe it's going to premiere right once I get home from having fun at the pool. No time to call me right now, I'm doing a vlog. Yep, that's right. Better hang up. Hang up on the phone right now. I'm trying to do a vlog right here. Yeah, I'm trying to do a vlog. Yep. Goodbye. Okay. We always start off with the red one first. So we're going to start off with this one right here first. See how it's got a nice stretch hose on there? Didn't come with that. I put that hose on there. I also put this sticker right here on there too. It came with the dusting brush, it came with this extension wand, uh, but I installed this crevice tool on there, that came off of my other Dirt Devil, my Featherlight bag. I stole it off of that, and I decided to put it on this one, because that's, that's just what I wanted to do. vacuumed in here uh, in my live stream yesterday if you look inside there you can see all the hair that it just picked up I tell you I literally empty this thing every time I vacuum so like th it literally just sucked this up just now
I like to make sure the filter is in there straight. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I like to have it in there straight because it looks better. I don't think other people would care, but I do because I, I like it looking nice. I don't treat my vacuum like it's dirt like other people do where they don't even maintain them. I'm not like that. I respect my vacuums. Well, we can do it like this. We can literally just put it over here for now because I have enough room. Let's do that. So now we can grab this blue one up here. And we can use this one really quick and then we'll use the the big 12 gallon rigid over there behind me. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy this. Because here we go. That hair right there is what this thing just picked up. Get a little stubborn sometimes. There we go. That's more like it. Now we get to use the big beast. I'm not lying to you. This thing is a giant. I know it doesn't look as big on camera, but I'll tell you in person, this thing is pretty big. Here, I'll show you. This is 12 US gallons, 45 liters. That's pretty big. So don't believe me, this thing is big. Well, it's a 12 gallon. And it's got a drain, or you can just, this is how you can let all your water out, or whatever. And yeah. I'm pretty soon I'm gonna be planning on getting a two and a half inch hose for this because it didn't come with that when I got it but again I'm hoping I can get a, a two and a half inch hose for it with some attachments because again this is not the right hose like this will literally not fit in here or whatever you know it's not big enough it's the not the right hose so I'm hoping I can find um, this one's correct hose that it still works fine though but it would, it would be nicer when I get um, this its regular hose 
because that, that's what this is supposed to have, the two inch hose, so I gotta get that. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we're gonna give this a quick run. So yeah, but hopefully you will enjoy the shot back because this thing here is what we're gonna we're gonna use next. So yeah. Hopefully you will enjoy this because here we go. So that's that's the rigid. If I can show you how exactly how big this is, just to give you an idea, if we take my uh, tape measure here, I'll show you how how long this is. And it's about twenty inches long. That's a pretty big shot back. I I also have a five gallon one and an eight gallon one, but. If, you're, if we're going to compare this one to those, for sure I would say this one is definitely bigger. That yeah, looks pretty large, doesn't it? Yeah, this, this is my main shot back that I, I use. Like if there's a flood in the house or whatever, you know, I, I use this to, you know, suck all the water up. Because again, this holds this holds 12 gallons. This is like a 12-gallon a tank inside. That's how much this will hold is 12 gallons. So I mean 12 gallons is definitely a lot. I mean, hopefully you enjoyed that, but that concludes our uh, vacuuming for today. We'll probably use this again next time in my uh, next vlog, so. Also in the future, I might, I, make, I might make more water test videos with this, so if you would like to see me do more water tests with my Rigid, 
you can click like especially once I get a two inch hose for this I'll definitely do more water tests with it so if you would like to see that yourself do me a favor hit that like button for me and I'll do them for you I think everyone knows what we're going to be doing next. Yep, that's right. Everyone's favorite. When we test this thing right here. So that's what we're going to do right now. So get ready because it's, it's going to be extremely red. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please. There has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please. There has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. 
Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that fire alarm test, and hopefully you enjoyed the vlog in general. So be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, turn post notifications on, so you don't miss out on anything I post, and we'll um, we'll see you later. So yeah.